Hello, hello, hello. So today is Saturday, May 16, and it's time for my COVID-19 update. So it, let's go for my world o meter update. So here's my world o meter update, May 16. Coronavirus cases is now 4,654,577. Deaths, 309,125. Recovered 1,773,818. Active cases 2,571,634. Serious or critical is 44,958, which is 2%. Mild condition is 2,526,676, which is 98%. Total cases, USA, 1,485,590. It's a lot of cases. How come they are opening now some of their businesses? Still dangerous. Spain, 274,367. Russia, 272,043. And they have the lowest death rate. So they said they only reported those who died in virus cases. So, and they are well prepared for that virus. It came to their country late, so they were able to prepare. That's what the government of Russia is saying. Now let's go to UK. 236,711 Italy 223,885 Brazil 220,291 France 179,506 Germany 175,699 Turkey 146,457 Iran, 118,392. No cases. Russia, 9,200. Saudi Arabia, 2,840. Mexico, 2,437. Brazil, 2,068. Iran, 1,757. Pakistan, 1,581. Qatar, 1,547. USA 1,305, Belarus 951, Kuwait 942. Total deaths, USA 88,548, UK 33,998, Italy 31,610, France 27,529, Spain 27,459, Brazil 14,962, Belgium 9,005, Germany 8,001, Iran 6,937, Netherlands 5,670. That's Mexico 290, Brazil 145, Russia 119, Belgium 45, USA 41, Iran 35, Pakistan 31, Sweden 28, Netherlands 27, Ukraine 21. So that's all for my world meter update. So let's go to Qatar update. So latest update in COVID-19 here in Qatar. New cases, 1,547 with the total now of 30,972. Active cases is 27,169. Recovered cases is 242. Now the total of 3,788. We have one death, 74-year-old. He died at the ICU now 15 total deaths here in qatar people tested is 4531 within 24 hours with the total now of 152704 people tested 
to Qatar to dole out $55,000 fines and jail time for not wearing face masks. Beginning Sunday, wearing face masks in public will be mandatory across Qatar with violators at risk of jail time and up to $55,000 in fines. OMG. Mask will be mandatory upon leaving the house for any reason except when alone while driving a vehicle. So that's a big fine. The punishment for not wearing a face mask is a fine up to 200,000 riyals or $55,000 or three years in prison. Hmm, you should choose. So, as we can see, the cases is still increasing. So, please stay at home. Be safe all the time. Just go out if necessary. And if you're here in Qatar or wherever you are, always wear mask if you will going out. Because it's a mandatory now here in Qatar. You're going to be in jail three years or you will pay fine of 200,000 Qatari riyals or $55,000. So it's a huge amount. Wear mask. Stop uh, touching your face. Especially your mouth, nose, and eyes. Always wash hands at least 20 seconds with soup or use sanitizer. And also take a rest, have enough sleep, exercise, eat nutritious food. Also avoid smoking or drinking. That will help to boost our immune system. So that's all for my COVID-19 update. Stay safe and God bless. But before I will end my video, I will share you some video clips in Hamad Medical Corporation. It's uh, Dr. Abdullah Al Naimi explaining about the new hospital they opened in industrial. Maybe that's the place where I will be assigned soon in God's will. Service like what we call a category one or level one uh, for patient who is recovered from a critical illness in uh, the three major hospital which is Hazman Barik, M. Saeed and Lafan. So when this patient get recovered and they need further medical uh, services, they bring them over here. They continue their stay with us. And then uh, we complete also for them the isolation, which is 14 days. We do the swab here. Once it's negative, two swabs, and then they can go back uh, home. Um, uh, uh, some people think that this is uh, for uh, non-Qataris. Uh, and uh, honestly, you know, the, the majority uh, of patients, if, if you look, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, the Qatari forms the minority of the inpatients. And if you go to Hasman Berry, the majority of the inpatients are both Qatari and non-Qatari, and they are mixed together. Uh, here, uh, the, the, the service which is provided, and if you think this is not for non-Qatari, I think it's like a, a resort or like a hotel style, each room with a separate toilet, uh, I think uh, th there is absolute, I don't want to say oh, the word of discrimination, please take it away, but you can rephrase it. Uh, so uh, th th uh, there is absolutely no discrimination between Qatar and Qatar.